Hi everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures, and in today's video I have a jewelry jar unjarring unboxing for you guys. And this is not one that I thrifted, this is one that is friend mail from Doug Sample. And I wanted to say thank you to him, he sent me a really lovely Christmas card and this jar of jewelry to unjar for you and he was hoping that I would do it live so here I am, well I'm not doing it live but I am recording it anyway. And I wanted to give his shop a shout out because he sells jewelry and also jewelry jars because he thinks that people that don't get jewelry jars in their area should be able to find them and his Etsy shop is called Vintage Boutique Cali and he says he focuses on true vintage and sterling items so definitely go check him out over on Etsy and see if he's got some goodies that might catch your eye I am really excited to open this up so we're gonna dive right into it I do have my two favorite tools for when I'm doing mystery boxes or jewelry jars. One is a magnet and that will help me determine whether or not something is silver or gold or something that's got more precious metals rather. Um, because if it is marked sterling silver but it's magnetic, then chances are likely that it is not truly sterling silver. There are super rare occasions where an item, the other portion of the 925 silver is a magnetic metal, but normally in my experience, it just doesn't happen. The second item that I have is my loop. Sorry, I blinded you there. And this is something I use because my eyes aren't what they used to be. And so I need to have something to help me see teeny tiny little marks. So if you're interested in either of these types of items, I've got my links down below so that you can see where I got mine. And I like this telescoping magnet because then if things fall on the floor I can just whoop, if it's magnetic and snatch it up with my magnet so lots of fun with that one all right let's dive into this jar I just pulled the top off a moment ago and the first item we have here are these really nice black and gold beads it does look like a vintage necklace and it looks like there might be a mark or a hang tag there yep there's a little hang tag on the clasp, and this is where my loop is gonna come in handy unless I'm able to see it. It might be a, my guess is a Monet or a 1928 piece. And that is a Monet um, necklace. So there are people that really like Monet, and it's a good length for someone that's wearing like a business attire or, just a casual thing they want to dress up with a black beaded necklace. So very nice. All right, next up, we've got this. It says Holstead Jewelers. Super excited to see. Mystery pouch. Looks like a ring. Is it a ring? Oh, is it going to be a keeper? Oh, this is pretty. Is there something else in there? Oh, there is. Okay, so the next item is this ring. Look how unusual. It's got this pink, kind of a lucite, uh, translucent transparency translucent -y. is this transparent ring and on the inside the mark is this cool like eye shape can you see that it looks like there's a shape uh, mark on the outside too and it looks like we do have a 925 mark on the inside so let's get that magnet out and test and see so now here's the thing when it comes to magnets, this is just sort of like an indicator. It doesn't tell me yes for sure now it, it is silver, but the marking showing it's silver, the magnet showing it's not magnetic, that most likely it's silver. It's still wise to test things if you want to be 100% sure, but here's that ring. Very cool. It almost looks like it's got a cool design underneath. Oh, it is. It's that eye. All right, let me see if I can see what the mark is on the ring there. I cannot quite tell. I can't tell if it mimics what's on the inside. It looks like a, oh, it's a capital G and a lowercase c, and it goes like that way. Okay, that makes more sense, sort of. I don't know what it is still. So that'll be fun to look up. I will look that one up. Very cool. I love how it's like asymmetrical. Very neat. And this is the other item that fell out of that little pouch. And this looks like it's probably a sterling silver braided chain bracelet and one of the tells for me is this little piece that I always say it looks like a rounded 
razor blade because I don't know what it's called. I'm sure there's a name for it, but nobody's ever commented on a video and said it's called a this. But a lot of times on a, a necklace or a bracelet, if it's got that kind of little piece right there, then that's something that um, frequently is where they'll put the mark for silver or gold. And this one is Mark 925 Italy, so that's a very sweet little piece right there. And actually, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I might actually, I'm a baby that can dance like a man. Good heavens. I might actually keep that one because I've got a couple of um, gold chains that I wear that are, I think would look really nice with that. I'm all for mixing silver and gold. I'm all for it. I'm going to just mute that. There we go. Okay, next up. Ooh, I really like this one too. So next up we have this inlaid mother of pearl cuff bracelet. It looks like probably either a child's bracelet or a young person's bracelet. However, I do have very small wrists. <laughs> so it could be a young Margaret bracelet. See, it's a very, I have a very small wrist. So if you're a small wristed person and you want something that's not flopping around, then that's, that's a go-to for you. Okay, so it looks like it's probably set in silver as well, perhaps. I mean, just the way it's tarnished up. There's not a mark that I can see on it. But that doesn't mean that it's not, because sometimes things aren't marked. All right, let's get the magnet out. There it is. Okay. So it is not magnetic. Oh, it's lovely, though, isn't it? I love that. And I frequently get asked the question, will I polish the piece? And this is probably one that I'm not going to polish too much. I might do a teensy little bit along some of the edges, maybe a little bit on the inside. But overall, I'm going to leave it because some people like that look. And it takes a little time, you know, if you want to get it back. And if I made it super shiny, then it might turn off another buyer. So that's very cool. All right, next up are these really cool silver hoop earrings. And they look like that. And let me see if my magnet, I have a feeling these are not silver. No, there you go. It's just to give you an idea, but that's okay. Um, but also when you're, sorry, that clanged on, on you. When you're, what is that? once you've been doing it for a little while, sometimes when you hear the way they sound clanging up against each other, you can tell like, oh, just from the sound of it, it doesn't sound, I don't know. I can't describe it exactly. Just that it doesn't sound quite like it would be oh my gosh this is super pretty okay look at these beautiful pinks this looks like something my this was like the pinks that my grandmother liked that really regal rich pink color so those are really pretty i love those beads that's another one i'm tempted to keep like a catch and release type of deal like these ones that have the pink and all the different kind of colors and they're faceted i really like those those are catching my eye a lot it looks very royal, you know, regal, those colors all together. All right, that's going to go over on my catch and release pile. <laughs> catch and release. Okay, these are fun. Hang on, there's some earrings. At first I thought they were mushrooms, but I think they are, I think they're t-shirts, but maybe they could be mushrooms. All right, they're little earrings. They look like this, like almost like little tie-dye shirts. But they're enamel. Those are unusual. I could see somebody liking that. Very cool. All right, next. This is fun. <laughs> I haven't done a jar in a while. I forgot how fun it is. I did a thread up box the other day. There we go. Okay, so this is fun. So this chain necklace has got these different plastic geometric shapes on it. There's squares and ovals and circles. And then it's on this really cool looking chain and it's pretty long. And then it's got like a toggle clasp. Let me get it closer you can, so you can see. It's not banging the microphone. So it's got a toggle clasp closure. Very cool necklace. <laughs> I don't think it's that old, but you can smell perfume on it. But, you know, you always... No, I just can't be sure. <laughs> okay, then this is cool. So this is a silver tone necklace that has these kind of iridescent oval pendants. Pendants, I guess you would say. 
sort of a bib, bib style necklace like that. That's really pretty. Nice. Okay. And I think that would, I mean, personally, like, I guess it looks okay, but I think somebody with like a more olive or a darker complexion would look really good in that. That's just my, my opinion. <laughs> All right. Then, oh, I love this. So here we've got this and it looks like maybe it's not silver, silver, but it may be like a Thai silver or another um, mixture. It's not sterling silver is what I'm trying to say. You can tell from the inside, there's a little bit of wear. But it's got this really cool design on front and it's got this really nice turquoise colored like flat piece in front. And it's probably, um, probably a plastic, but it's really nice. I don't think it's stone. But I think just for show, like I think people would really, really like, you know, it'd be a good boho sort of tribal look to your outfit. Let me show you a little bit more. Because it is really a nice piece. Very pretty. Very cool. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. Some more ooh. Funsies. Pretties. All right. Next up, we've got, hold there, hold there. These blue turquoise, these are plastic beads, but they're really pretty and really unusual. They're kind of mottled, which means they've got this kind of like mishmash of colors, kind of like splotchied on there. That's kind of what mottled means. I'm sure there's a more technical definition, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Let's see, where's the back? How would you wear this? I guess you would wear it like so and super long. And I wonder if this is one of those that you could double over probably. I don't know if that would go around my head twice though because I have an awfully large head. <laughs> but it might be for someone with a smaller head. Very pretty. Cool. Then this is like a little locket and one side it has these heart um, roses rather or posies or they almost look like the Tudor rose. And then on the other it says always in my heart a really cool chain. I like that style of chain. And this looks like one of those that, yeah, you can open it and then put like herbs or essential oils in, or it's even got a little spot. It looks like it would hold something in place. So you could put something in there and then clasp it closed and wear it and smell it or whatever you liked to do with it. All right, there we go. There's that. Let me check this chain. There we go. There's that. All right, and then the next item is this pretty cool. It's articulated. I was like, it moved. At first I wondered if it was like a stretchy bracelet, but then I knew part of it was magnetic because something was stuck to it. But then the other, like this part is a really strong magnet. But then the other sections, it's not, um, where is it string in there? Oh, I guess it is stretchy. That's so unusual. I haven't seen one like that. Cool. So, but it's, it articulates open and closed. I really like this piece. I haven't seen anything quite like it. Very nice. And I don't see any missing stones. I don't see a maker's mark, but I don't think that would matter. I think somebody's really going to like that. And a lot of times these that are magnetic like this are good for, for people that have arthritis in their hands and might have a little bit of a harder time getting bracelets on and off. So there's that. Next, ooh, another ring, yay. We've got this cable link chain ring. It looks a bit like a man's ring. There is something written in there. You could wear it as a thumb ring. And what do we have inside? It looks like it's laser written. So I'm guessing, I'm, my guess is like stainless steel. That's my guess. Oh, upside down. Something, something in China. It sells 316LTMA China. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is stainless steel. Now, that's another thing. So if you're using your magnet, you're like, yay, silver. No, because stainless steel is not magnetic either. So it would have to have a combination of things, which is always a good reason. It's a good idea to, to, to test, to get a testing kit. 
And I, I have a testing kit I like. I have a number of videos where I show using it. I need to do another one, actually. But I'll, I'll link that down below, too. It's a Presidium. No, not a Presidium. That's the gem tester. Anyway, my other testing kit. Anyway, so here we've got a... What does it say? Oh, it's a Leah Sophia. If I can get the tag going the right way. You can see Leah Sophia right there. And this is nice. It's got all these different turquoise style beads and then wood where they've kind of mixed in the turquoise, the blues, and the wood. So I think somebody's really going to like that mixed material necklace for sure. Alrighty, next up. Ooh, it's a long one. Hang on. A little bit of earring hanging on there. Come here, earring. You're really pretty too. So just put there. So we've got another black necklace. These ones are more oval shaped rather than just the round beads. And they have the gold spacer beads as well. Don't see a hang tag or a maker's mark on those. That's okay. Then next, we've got this kind of orange sherbet color necklace. That's pretty nice too. Again, it's not my color, but I know there are people that can wear this color and it looks just amazing on them. So there's that one. Kind of a bib style necklace. Ah, I like this one. So this looks like a turquoise chip necklace or bracelet rather it's one of these stretchy ones stretch and this one may or may not be turquoise they may be halite i'd have to look at them a little bit closer so what i'm looking for is i'm looking for in the the holes to see if i see any kind of white or any space where the two um two of the pebbly beads would chip against each other and, and like if it's a halide, it might chip away at the turquoise color um, to reveal the white halide underneath. But another thing to look for is the consistency of the colors. And as you can see, some of the blues are a little bit different than others, which is a good sign that, um, you know, because there's some that are a little bit darker blue than some of the others are a little bit lighter. So that's a good sign too. So chances are that it might be actually a little turquoise chip. So that's nice. Then we've got this beautiful mauve. I, don't, I feel like the, the light is making it look not as pretty because the light's coming in from that side. And I can see more of the mauve purple gray on my end. It looks more just kind of like gray in the camera. But hopefully you're able to pick up. It's more of a purpley gray. It's not really showing up as well for you guys, um, unfortunately, but it's really pretty. Okay, and then the class, this looks like it might be handmade, but it's got a little bird. It's still a toggle. Turn around, bird. We need to see what you look like. So we got a little bird here, and the bird will go through the toggle clasp. So that makes me think it's probably handmade, but so pretty. And then that's another thing, like I don't see this type of color very often. So that would probably lead me to price it a little bit higher because I don't see that color so often. So when I look it up, that will definitely be a factor in how I choose to price it. <clears throat> All right, Ooh, long. All right, we've got this really long silver tone necklace. It is maybe a belt even, or that would have, I mean, shoot, that's even a big belt for me. But I guess you could, you know, you could wear it as a belt, you could double it up, wear it as different layers. It's multi-functional, which I like. I like, okay, I've got a couple earrings I'm going to set up here until I find the mate. Oh, this is pretty. All right, ears don't fall. Hang on. Come over here. Oh, wow. Okay. This necklace, let's see what we've got here. This necklace has got some really cool features. It's got these flowers, and then the leaves are kind of this lacy look. Let me get my hand behind it. So it's kind of got this like lacy 
look to the metal in certain spots. I mean, even though it's like floral, it still makes me think of steampunk, you know? The clasp, the toggle clasp is on the side. That looks like it says Cookie Lee. Is that a Cookie Lee? Yep, that says Cookie Lee. Okay, there are people that really like Cookie Lee stuff. And then it's got this chain that hangs down on this side. That is so cool. So this is definitely a necklace that I think is going to do really well. Very pretty. Because it does, I mean, it does have this really cool industrial sort of look to it. So I might even add steampunk to that. All right, next we've got another necklace that might be homemade, but it's, again, also very cool. It's got this nice stone. It's got a mix of these shell beads, these bicone style silver beads and then chain on the end. That's really unusual. Yeah, I could see somebody really enjoying that. Very unusual. Let's see, those are earrings. We've got a nice stretchy bracelet there. And this is the one that almost fell on me a second ago. Let me look at it up close. So it's got these sweet little black beads. So it's got these sweet little black beads, possibly onyx, I'd have to look at them closer. And then these caps on each side of the bead. Let me look a little bit closer at them. And there's a chance that they're silver. The toggle clasp is marked 925, so chances are likely that it's silver and probably like an onyx bead bracelet. Let's see. Yeah. So this would look really, I mean, I think it would look nice alone, but I think it would also look nice layered with some other bracelets. Look how I'm trying it out. I might have to do a catch and release. I like it because it's really feminine and dainty, right? If I just wanted to wear just like a little something, just a little dainty something, I like it. It's understated but really feminine, so that's a plus. Then, ooh, this one's pretty. This one, I mean, this one also looks like possibly, probably made homemade, but really cool. And... So we've got some what look like mm, little pearls. Looks like some maybe lapis chips, some brass beads in there. It looks like it's probably vintage too, unless somebody repurposed. That looks like it might be a ceramic bead. Then we've got some cool, maybe clay, the, what do you call them? Like the polymer clay beads. Oh, this is really fun. The green, I'm not 100% sure. I always mix up some of my greens. This one looks like a um, malachite, because that's got that stripe to it. I could see my sister really liking this. And then there's this really cool ceramic piece that looks like a little jar. I, I may have to set that aside for my sister, because I could see her really enjoying all of those different beads. And yeah, it makes me feel like my sister would like that. So I'll set that aside for her, because I think she would like it. This is another one that's really cool. So this one looks like it's bone and on a horn probably. Oh yeah. So here we've got one that's like bone and horn and they're alternating. You can see the tiny beads inside the discs. So they, oh yeah, that is a really cool piece. Somebody is going to really, really love this one. That's, that's a nice one. I like how cold it feels to the touch. So very cool. Yeah. I'm trying to tell if these little ones are wood. I think these little beads might be wood. But those ones up there are bone and horn. Very nice. Okay. Reaching in to the drawer. To the drawer. All right, this one. Neat. All right, we've got some more kind of like this tribal style with the wooden carved beads. These kind of, um, oh, I can't think of the name of that, where they, they have, they look like the little balls, but there's a name for it, and now my brain just spaced on it. And then this big, cool bead in the middle, and I'm trying to see, are these little ones in between, are they bone? They're probably bone, from what I can tell. I'm going to look up a little bit closer up. 
So I have a video that I did where, you know, you can to help you tell the difference between bone and ivory and celluloid and things like that. And so those are bone, they're more pitted than ivories generally. So that's what that is. And then next, we've got these. They are kind of like this uh, metallic, plastic, silvery, kind of silvery black colored beads and they are graduated so they get bigger or smaller rather and they look like that very cool those are nice oh there's a hang tag on this one and this one I can't read so let's get it close to the camera maybe you can read it that one can you guys read it let me get my loop I need the loop it says Robert Roos Robert Rose is that an O or are you I think it's an O. Robert Rose or Robert? I think it's probably Robert Rose. It's not one I've heard of before, so I'll have to look that one up. All right, another solo earring. I hope the mate's in there. We'll see. We've got this stretch shell bracelet, like that. Another pearl. Very nice. There are people that really like those. <clears throat> Here we go. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. So this one is a multi-strand style. It's almost woven looking. That's really cool. Ah. Hang on. I'm trying to see. <laughs> Obviously, I don't wear stuff like this. I just can't make it happen. There, 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 there. Okay. So yeah, this is very cool. Again, I, it's not my style, but I can definitely see somebody liking this a lot. So very cool. Yes. Okay. Digging in. The next piece we've got. Oh, this is cool. It's got these hematite barrel beads. These red ones that look like coral. Let's see. They look like they, they're probably a yeah, coral chip beads. And then some more hematite ones. So it's probably going to be magnetic. Maybe playing a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Those hematite beads, so people like that. That's really a pretty one with the black or the dark gray rather and the red. Very nice. All right, we've got some earrings down on the bottom. Pouring those out. And let's see what we've got here. Ooh, oh, I like these. Okay. So these are some cool, like, mm, what do you call them? Moon glow? Like that. Earrings. Those are very pretty. Oh, I like these. I think I think they might be some catch and release ones. Personally, I can see myself liking these. All right, we'll just put those in my stash over here. <laughs> I like earrings a lot. I have more earrings than my Harry Potter mirror can hold, so... I like earrings a lot. Okay, here's the next pair, which I'm already holding up to my ears. So they're gray, but then they have these like quartz right there. Druzy, I think is the word I need to use. Mm, I think somebody will like them. I think they would maybe look okay with them, but I'm, I would like a different color here if I were making them for myself. But somebody else will definitely like these like neutral style colors to go they look all right they're not so bad they're not bad you know what i mean or not i don't know okay the next pair of earrings these look like some my sister might like too and then they make noise that would make me crazy but they make a little like tinkling noises and it's almost like little drops of something inside a leaf right when you hold them up let's tell you so they kind of are nestled inside this curved leaf. Isn't that neat? I could see my sister wearing these. I'm going to put these to the side for her and see if she wants them. Very sweet. Very sweet little earrings. Okay, then we've got some nice little pearl and rhinestone earrings here. Check the backs just in case because... And then 
this cool link bracelet. And this one, are you silver is what I'm looking for. So let's, it's got one of these like fold over clasps that looks like this. And here's the other side. And there is a mark there, as you can see. I can't see what it says, though. It says, yeah, let's turn it sideways. I can't read upside down or sideways, apparently. Ah, Givenchy. Okay, so Givenchy's a really good brand. So that would probably sell. I can't, I have to look it up and see. So it's magnetic, but the Givenchy is a, they sell jewelry, they sell makeup, perfume, that kind of thing. And then we've got some little turquoise bead and flower earrings. Those are sweet as well. And that is our jar. So <clears throat> personally, my favorite, I think I like, I like this a lot, this silver bracelet. Go figure. I like this beaded one that looks really regal, the colors and everything. And then this, oh, not in my cup. And then this one with the inlay, the cuff with the inlay. Let me know what your what your favorites were. And if you visit his shop, again, thank you so much, Don. Let me get the card here. Um, if you visit Vintage Boutique Cali on Etsy, then make sure you tell him that I sent you. And thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.